Using the right Google Ads bidding strategy for a new campaign is extremely important in order to get things off to a good start so that you can then further optimize and see better and better results over time. So let's talk about what to start with as far as a bid strategy goes for a new Google Ads campaign and then we'll kind of jump into what to do after that. So anytime you set up a brand new campaign like this one here that's only been running for two days, you're going to want to start with a click-based bid strategy. I prefer using uh, maximize clicks. So we'll come over here to the actual bid strategy for this campaign. And right now you can see that the focus is on clicks. Uh, here we can use this to get a little bit better indication of what's happening. You can go back and forth between these. <laughs> this has not recommended because most people don't understand how this works, but through this video you'll be able to select the correct bid strategy here. So you can see it's on maximize clicks right now. Essentially what that's going to do is take your budget, your daily budget, which right now is set to $50 for this campaign. And Google's going to go out and take that $50 a day and get you as many clicks as it can possibly get you with $50 a day. Now, a brand new campaign doesn't have any data for the learning, the machine learning algorithms to, you know, go after specific goals like conversions or conversion value or anything like that. After you've been running a campaign on maximized clicks for a while, you'll see your optimization score will typically drop down. It's at 100% right now. When that happens, you can head over to recommendations and it's likely going to suggest that you switch to max or uh, maximize conversions, which is essentially the next step, right? So we let it learn for a couple of days like we were seeing uh, back here where it says the bid strategy is learning five days left of learning here. Once it's complete with that learning phase and we've got some conversion data in, say three, four, five, six conversions, then we'll be able to, and Google will also in the recommendations tab here, will suggest that we switch over to maximize conversions. One more thing on maximize clicks, you can also set a max cost per click bid limit. So in this campaign, we set it for $35. Uh, it could probably be lowered now, but, uh, you know, we just didn't want a click to cost $50, spend our budget, we get one click and no conversions, right? So, uh, this isn't coming into effect right now because our average cost per click is $3.39. But while doing the keyword research in this specific niche, uh, it looked like some of the cost per clicks were going to be up, to, up around the $50 range. So I just went ahead and capped that at $35 just so we could get some data coming in and get some clicks going. Um, so after, you know, five or six days, we got some conversion information. Then we can switch over to maximize conversions. Then it's going to be able to take your budget and essentially take your $50 budget and go find as many conversions as possible using that $50 per day budget. After you've let that run for two weeks, two to three weeks, so anytime you're using a conversion-based bid strategy, you want to give Google about two to three weeks to relearn. You don't want to touch the campaign, really. Uh, you just kind of let it do its thing, let it learn, come back in two to three weeks, then you can switch over again. And if you just check the recommendations, it'll probably tell you what, what it recommends as the next bid strategy, which is probably going to be uh, maximize conversion value and um, and then you can eventually switch to target return on ad spend once you have some conversion data and you know what your conversion value is and you know what your average return on ad spend is so that's kind of the sequence you start with maximize clicks then switch to maximize conversions then maximize conversion value and then eventually target ROAS so if you just walk through that process, as I explained, it should help you get off to a good start. Let the Google algorithms learn what's going on and get you more conversions for less money. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you had questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even 
read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you